The obvious way to make a bulleted list in Word is to highlight the text that you want to turn into a bulleted list and to click the bulleted list button. I'm going to show you a better way in this video that makes it much easier to style bulleted lists over a 100 page professional report. My name's Chris and on this channel I like to share the tools, tips and tricks, processes that I've developed over the years as an engineer and a consultant to sort through complex problems and to make uh, my professional reports look a bit nicer. My name's Chris and I like to share on this channel some of the tools, tips, tricks and processes that I've developed over the years for developing better professional work and solving complex problems. If you're interested in how you can do better at work or how you can break down complex problems with simple tools, hit subscribe and follow along and that's what I'm going to do in this video, how to take you through a better way to style your word bullets. So we're going to turn off this default bullet styling for a minute and what we're going to do instead is use the Microsoft Word uh, built-in styles. Now, this is a better way to format the bullets in your report and keep it consistent. So if you consistently apply the styles that Word comes in, you can modify them. If you consistently apply these styles uh, within Microsoft Word, it will give you consistent reports across the whole thing. I had a lot of colleagues that uh, we were writing a big report, three or 400 pages, where they'd throw in different bits of text from different reports, they'd copy and paste, they'd use all different uh, formatting, they'd, they'd change the sizes, bold and underlined, and, and use the bullet lists over here. If you use this information, it becomes a big mess, a complicated mess when you try to read through it later on. You're always wondering, is this consistent? Uh, should I check to make sure it's consistent? Am I using the same formatting throughout the report? Now, an easy way to make sure that you're using the same formatting throughout the report, that you're delivering something consistent to your client or other stakeholders, is to use this styles bar. So in this case, I've set up the styles already in a different video for this report to make this report look professional. If you're interested in how I did that, I'll leave a link in the uh, description below. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a new style just for these, uh, for bulleted lists. Uh, and then for numbered lists as well. So to add a new style, we uh, well to make a bulleted list style, we first add a new style, then we define what sort of bullet to use, and we make sure that the indentation and, and tabs are right, and then we can apply it to our text. So the first step is to click this little arrow and click on create a new style. So we're going to call it a bullet list and click modify to, to change the properties of that list. Uh, we're going to say it's based on our body style so that we keep things consistent. Uh, we're gonna, so we're going to leave it as all the same uh, size and font. We're going to click format and click on numbering. Now to make the bulleted list, click on bullets and then we can select our bullet here. Uh, now a lot of these are from the when I originally set up this video as a bit of a test. So if you click on define new bullet, you'll be able to, and then symbol, you'll be able to pick a new bullet there. Now I like the look of this underscore one from the symbol font, but you can of course change the font to different ones, you can use different symbols here as well. So I like this one, I'm going to click OK and accept that. Click OK again, make sure it's selected here, click OK, and there we've got our bulleted list. Now I like it a little bit more left aligned, or left for you, uh, than what's shown in the preview here. So I'm going to click on format and paragraph. I want that first bullet to be aligned on the left indentation, so zero indentation aligned on the left. Now of course everything after that should be uh, further over to the right. So we click OK, click OK again, and there we've defined our bullet list. And as you can see, Word's already applied it for us. Uh, so that means that whenever we type uh, we can type in some text here, we can type in some text and make this a list and then if we highlight this we can all make it into a list. So uh, I, I prefer this way of doing it because we can go through and change other things later on. If we're not happy with the style we can make one change to the styles and have it consistently apply across the document. So at the moment, I don't like the spacing between uh, the list items. I think they should be closer together uh, to really show that these items are related compared to the paragraph before. So what I'm going to do is right click on the bullet list and click modify. Then I'm going to click format and paragraph. I'm just going to change this space before and space after. I'm actually going to change it to three. I don't, I don't like zero either. So I'm going to change that to three to reduce the amount of space between the list items. Now they all update. So just by changing that one style consistently throughout the document, I've done an update. Uh, this saves having to go through, if this were, this is quite a short document, but if this were a very long document, we'd have to go through each 
list and change that individually if we'd use the bulleted option. So by applying a style, if we want to change the style, we can go through, change it once and have that change apply across the document. Uh, so when you're working with very big documents, professional reports, much easier to use styles, always recommended. If you want to change that to a numbered list, you can of course come up, uh, modify or create a new one, I'd probably recommend for the numbered list. Click format, numbering, and then pick the numbering instead. This also lets you use uh, different styles uh, for different types of lists. For example, we can also have words default bullet list as well. So we can go in here and say this is a bullet list. Uh, and now you can see we've got two list styles and we need them for different purposes. Uh, this can be helpful if you have a checklist or, uh, uh, or something like that where you want different bullet styles even within the same document. Uh, so that's the basics of how to put a list in. If you're interested in uh, more sorts of details on how I formatted uh, this report, please uh, check out the link in the video below. This is, I put together this uh, professional report template to help anyone uh, to figure out how to get started with professional reports, table of contents, headings, appendices, all sorts of things that might go into a professional report as well as paragraphs of text. Uh, this use of lists I found based on the Google style guide of all things, where it's recommended to use lists to break out some text like this. So that's what I've done. I've, I've taken this paragraph, this dense paragraph of text and broken it out into a list. If you're interested in more about how I did that, check out the other video in the link below where I've gone through uh, some of the highlights, some of the ways to improve a Word document, uh, some of the ways to improve your professional writing using things like lists, tables and figures. Uh, so otherwise hit subscribe and YouTube will suggest those videos for you because hopefully I'll see you in the next one.